Hi right, guys, so well, welcome to Xanadu. This is our first stream in a couple weeks. We got Llama and Crescent Monkey starting off. Nice. So, so I'm Fedric Lamar with Vis, by the way. Just I guess. You. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves, but interesting strike here for Marth's cheek to go to Dreamland. Yeah. Usually Marth's don't like Dreamland. Yeah. Since they have such a hard time killing. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of what the sort of thought process would be here. As a Marth main myself, like. I guess it's nice to have all the, the space to, to run around. And I mean, he's winning by about 50% already. But it's just, that's the thing, is like you said, it's going to take so much to kill Sheik. Yeah. At the same time, I guess uh, he's going to survive longer. Maybe he'd prefer that over killing Sheik. Yeah, and then, I mean, also when Sheik creeps up to that mid to high percents, it's going to be impossible for Marth to combo. Yeah. Once the Marth gets one hit, that's going to be it. Yeah, that's it. like a little tap right there. Yeah, Crescent Monkey blowing the double jump a little early, but... Oh, right, yeah. I'm not sure what he could have done there, but it was definitely a little slow. Yeah. Punishing that up here. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I can relate. But, uh... Ooh. I'm not entirely sure... I want to say Crescent Monkey... Maybe hasn't always main Marth? I'm not 100% sure. For some reason I'm thinking Falcon, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Maybe I don't know. I know, I know Llama is is a bona fide Sheik mate. He's been practicing yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. I know he's he's definitely a, definitely a Sheik. He also just turned uh, twenty, I think, like a couple days ago. Okay. So happy belated birthday to to Llama. Nice. Oh. So maybe this counter pick was like a birthday gift. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll let you start off at Dreamland. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> please make this really difficult for me. Yeah. Oh, that was really nice. So he caught him without the double jump and did the upgrade to regret. Yeah. That was super smart. I feel like Lama might have been able to like nair at the last second there, but uh, maybe he wasn't thinking it was going to come out. Yeah. We've already seen a couple times where Crescent Monkey has punished Lama. He's just been really patient about waiting for Lama to use that double jump. Yeah. So <laughs> he just stands there and forward smashes. Sometimes <laughs> Randy forward smash works. Ooh. Yeah, he's gone for the forward smash a number of times already. Yeah. Like as a as a edge guard, just kind of, I don't know. I don't yeah. know how good that's supposed to. Yeah, it's, I mean, I guess usually when you're trying to edgeguard Sheik as Marth, the best thing you can do is grab ledge and sort of bait out the very few options that Sheik can do to mix it up. Yeah. And then you just, you roll up or you lay, you like ledge dash on and then you punish. Yeah. Whether with grab or reverse a B or forward smash. But forward, yeah, so like forward smash when Sheik still has a jump or an up B is really usually, you just have to get like super lucky. Yeah. Like it has to be the hardest of reads. Yeah, it definitely has to be like spot on. Like you know when they're going to yeah. be vulnerable. So I mean like if they see that they see a forward smash coming, usually like every character could just can just uh, shield and wave dash out get a, a grab in or just a straight shield grab depending on the spacing and the timing. So it seems like there's a couple of those forward smashes, like I, I personally probably, as Sheik, would have just like tried to shield it and then go for the yeah. shield grab. But it's a really close match, so. Yeah. So they're both at that percent where it's going to be, oh, I feel like he could have gotten maybe a, an up air off of, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, great DI from Crescent Monkey. Going to the corner. Oh, the up smash. That's when when Crescent Monkey's doing the uh, his dash dance. Like they actually they're both dash dancing fairly well, but it seems like when Crescent Monkey he's doing a good job of evading Sheik's approach with like dashing away, mm -hmm. but his return is not as crisp. Like right. he has opportunity to come back in and grab or whatever, yeah. but he's like uh, he's just getting that first part was he able to evade. Yeah, we got right. stock of champions zero zero on the last stock though, so. Was that for, was that four throw to? Yeah, so he caught him on the di in and just gave him a big tipper. At that percent, it's that perfect like you di in generally at lower percents. It's just going to lead to a normal forward smash, but then when you're a little higher, it goes to right to perfect tipper spot. Ooh, generally that dare is really unsafe because like even if you uh, like if Llama hadn't jumped up there to challenge. And even if you L cancel it, there's still a bunch of frames on it. So then Llama could have taken his time, either gone in with an up air or gone on and like wave dash or like 
Wow, I'm just missing the name where. Oh, oh Fat Tipper. Randy. Randy has another one. Oh, no punish. Oh, yeah. The slow uh, stand up above 100%. And we got him again. Ooh, I don't, see if you grab if you grab the ledge there, mm -hmm. then you basically have to force Sheik to go on stage with a lot of landing lag on that B. So that's something for the future Crescent Monkey if you could pick up instead of going for a sort of Randy Ford smash. <laughs> we saw Shield Breaker edge guards. Yeah. Ooh. Man, it's close. Six minutes. Those F smashes probably would have just like I don't know if like maybe yeah the oh, down tilt would be good. There you yeah. go. That might have been like one of the first down tilts we saw from him the entire game. That yeah, that's what I guess I would have suggested in that situation is more down tilts. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the very least, have those like interrupt a little soon as. Yeah, because that's the thing is that if you if you do that, the entire move takes under twenty. Like it's really quick. So what there's what I, what interrupts. Those I don't frames. know like what the. I don't know like why or like what happens. I just saw that basically. So as soon as the the down tilt comes out and it's active and he pulls, if you don't interrupt it, he like pulls it back and then resets. Right. But what you can do is yeah, obviously you can poke it out and then immediately instead of like having it pull back in, you can do something else. Right. So I don't know like what exactly like why those are the that's like the certain motion that you can do. Yeah. Well, I've I've seen it like I've seen the. The uh, little like hitbox breakdown, and I, even like some moves have it that are like the the frame, the interruptible frame is pretty much at the end of the move anyway. But I was I was wondering as far as like what actually interrupts it. I'm not sure if it's like it has to be another ground based attack or something like that, and not like a dash or whatever. I think you no, you can definitely dash out a down tilt. That's actually a really smart and excellent like zoning move. As Marth is, if you like tip her down tilt their shield and then dash away, mm. so you did it right there. Yeah. It was, uh, it's, it's really effective. It's really tough to punish by a lot of characters. Like, well, Marth has a, a nice forward smash. So, obviously, Marth has a lot of laggy moves on shield. And, like, against characters with long and quick wave dashes, they can be punished really easily. Like, forward smash on. Like, Luigi, for example, is ridiculously unsafe. So, down tilt, however, if you get tipper down tilt, it's really hard to punish. Yeah. I can imagine. Oh, that's a nice dash chance. He just missed that uh, jump cancel grab. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying so with their their dashes. Like they're both doing like pretty pretty good dash dancing in general. But it, like from what I could tell, it seems like every time Chris, every time Llama is going for these dash uh, dash dance games or whatever, he's almost always committing to it like fairly early. So it's like it's somewhat predictable in that sense. And Chris and Monkey, like I said, is like he's really good at pulling back, but not Ooh. so much on the. He's, he's having a hard time coming back and punishing the the bait or whatever. Yeah, we saw some funny jank right there. From <laughs> Crescent Monkey just stood in the same place and spot dodged three times as Llama just jumped over and over and over <laughs> through short hop aerials. So, oh, that's a deep. See, it, he went so deep. If you just grab ledge right there, then he would have been dead. Yeah. But just grab ledge. Marth grabbing ledge against Sheik is so good. You just wave dash back to ledge right there. Dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I feel like a lot of times people are, are really hesitant to do that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was like ridiculous SDR or just like a reverse jab. That sent him way the opposite oh, way. Yeah. That was really lucky for uh, for Crescent Monkey. Yeah, maybe he just uh, happened to be holding away at that frame or whatever. Yeah. SDI for Crescent Monkey still living. See, grabbing the ledge. It's OP. It's too good. <laughs> so I'm just looking right here. Pick up as much percent as he possibly can before getting out on the next stock. And he's just missing this roll timing by just a little bit every time. Yeah. Because I like Sheiks love to roll up when they're over 100 because it yeah. looks like they're about to just stand up and obviously then they just roll into stage. It covers a lot of ground. Has a lot of invulnerability. Yeah. So. We're already at 4.30. Again. Pretty. See, that's like four times in a row he's just rolled out. There you go. <laughs> ledge hop or uh, ledge dash on. Two, 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 two. 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 
Nice snare. A good DI from Lava. 208. Sticking in it. This has been a really good stock for Lama. The fact that he's already put on an extra 100%. Yeah, he's really good on, on that stock. Yeah. Oh, he's going deep. Oh, I don't know about the, the jab. You could have just grabbed him right there. That should do it. Oh, up till Flub. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> that. <laughs> Still alive. 233. Oh, again. Oh, wow. He went deep for him. <laughs> Didn't work out. That. Will that kill? Down tilt at 255? No, but Nair at 268. <laughs> That'll kill. That was nuts. Lama <laughs> with a smile on his face. No follow up. Oh, I like that dash dance, though. That was smart. We've seen a lot of Crescent Monkey sort of going on the top platform, which as Marth in general is not very good, but especially in this matchup, you want to be underneath Sheik as much as possible. Yeah. We've seen some sort of do retreating to the top platform, or the side platforms even, when he should just be staying on the ground. Yeah, definitely Marth in general wants to be having the other character be above them. So it's kind of weird, but... Maybe he's not noticing that, or just feels more comfortable like moving around at first on the ledges. It's a good shield pressure right there by Lama to force the Winter Shield and the Shield Pug. Oh, another just kind of randy tipper. Yeah. Shield grab? Okay, just grab ledge. Oh. So close. Oh, that was super dangerous, that fair. Or not fair, excuse me, the side B again. Oh. There's so much lag on that move where if Llama reacted to it, he could just get a fair out and kill him. I mean the, the side B? Yeah. Oh, that was really nice grab ledge. I think it's kind of like a lot of characters, or a lot of people, especially when they're they're not uh, that experienced, like, will like, double jump a lot. Mm -hmm. I think they're like... Uh, you'll really see a like lot of Marts do that, too. Yeah. It's, like they'll, it's almost like a double jump for them because it stalls them. Yeah. But so the first side B you have, after you landed normally on the stage, the first side B does give you height. And right. he's been basically burning that. Oh, he went for ledge that time. Ew, oh, the one time sour. he goes for ledge is going to cost him. Yeah. Oh, man. Jeez. Yeah, so like that first side B gives you height, and then every other side B after that doesn't. Right. So to burn that side B when you're just normally in the air, like above the stage, I feel like is, isn't is smart. Because if, if he reads that and he waits and then he hits you off stage, you've lost one of your extra recovery tools as Marth. Yeah. So. That's true. That was a, almost a really great comeback by Crescent Monkey. He almost got a three-stock comeback, but Lamo showing some resolve to finish it up. So I wonder where we're going to counterpick. So we went to Dreamland twice. You don't see that very often. And yeah. You don't also see going to Yoshi's very often. You must have banned FD. I don't know. Uh, well, wait, so... So the Marth probably mm -hmm. counter the Marth obviously counter picks here, and I think you're looking as your first choice going here. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. As I guess Llama must have banned FD. I, I mean, some Mar like depending on how strong the Marth feels in their combo game, they like FD. It's basically it's the same concept. It's like once you get Sheik in the air, you just juggle and they're just dead. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, right now Llama's already looking really strong. He's got an 80% lead. I feel like uh, this really can go well for both characters as far as you know. With such a short range or whatever. Uh, Marth's not going to have as much range if he wants to, like, kind of uh, do a lot of dash dance, uh -huh. like, baits or whatever. Yeah. Sheik's going to kill, like, kind of early. Mm -hmm. yeah, Marth can do a, a lot slap. of... Yeah. yeah, a lot of stuff on the platform. Sheik lands on the platform. He can set up, you know, certain forward smashes or whatever. Nice double down tilt. Oh, again, he goes for the forest smash edge guard. So I guess for educational purposes, Crescent, if you watch your VODs, just kind of grab ledge. Forward smash is only good as an edge guard in very specific circumstances. Oh, he went for it again. Oh, wow, it's close. Oh, went for the just walk through forward smash. <laughs> just went 
That, that fair went straight yep. through <laughs> Horse Snare. So you've seen more, I think, a better job, though, from Crescent about staying grounded and letting Llama stay up top. Because obviously with these platforms, this is why the stage time is so good for Marth. Mm. To be like if Sheik, Sheik's recovery, if you go to a platform, then it's going to be pretty much guaranteed up tilt or guaranteed forward smash. Yeah. So, a lot of options. I still feel like, uh, at least seeing grounded more, there's a, there's times when like, I'm seeing him like jump up to, to follow up with like, Llama coming back down where I would have maybe expected like a sitting there with an up tilt or something. Mm. I don't know. So again, every time every time Llama is just burning his double jump down there, you can just be holding ledge and you get a free punish. Yeah. I feel like it's really hard to change up what you're doing like mid-match. Yeah. Sometimes like, I mean, some people are better at it than others. Yeah. But I, I have a very hard time like Absolutely, it's just because you're ingraining your habits. Yeah. Or sometimes it's not even that obvious that it's like a very s simple thing that's. Oh, he had it. That much. Yeah. He had the <laughs> ledge. Kind of and it's so much time. <laughs> and then he just stood there. He could have. He could have up smash. He could have tipped forward smash. He had a lot of options. Up tilt. Maybe he want to kill it. He got the right hitbox at 110. Yeah. Man, that's a wasted opportunity. Yes. Yes. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. It's exactly what you want to do. There's nowhere that she can go if you play it like that. Ooh, just misses the right. You wanted that other, the left-facing hitbox. Yeah. Oh, tournament winner. Yeah. Don't think that was intentional. All right, last stock in winners potentially for Crescent Monkey. Oh, that's nice. to grab. He's going for these hard reads to force smash. He could just be dash dancing for grab. Yeah. Just throwing him up more and trying to just get as much damage in. Yeah. Also, like, forward smash isn't really going to accomplish that much in terms of both comboing and death if, if Sheik's only at 30, 40%. Yeah. Like, a good Sheik will just DI away, and then that's it. You don't have a follow-up. Or if they're better, they'll shield it, and then they'll just wave dash out of shield punish. So. That's true. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was close. I feel like you could have gotten that forward smash out a little faster. He's just jumping up. That's, see, that's he's got. He is. Oh wow! Let's say he doesn't have a side B, but he's using the shield breaker to get out of that pressure. Oh, almost. Again. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Even, yeah, Crescent Monkey raises his eyebrows. He's like, not what I meant to do, but we'll take it. Uh oh. We take this. Oh, Tipper. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. oh wow, that would have been sick. Maybe a jab reset would have worked. I don't know. I don't know how well it works. This yeah, that would. No, it's really good. This mark. Oh, another tournament winner, and that'll do it. Good Man, set. great long set. Yeah.